Hi, my name is Timothy Watkins. I'm a graduate student at Yale University, and today I will discuss our JEM paper titled High Burden of Viruses and Bacterial Pathobionts Drives Heightened Nasal Innate Immunity in Children. Early in the COVID-19 pandemic, a striking observation was that young children experienced far less severe COVID-19 infection compared to adults. This raised the question of how children and adults differed in their immune responses during infection in ways that may explain the severity. To test this, a number of studies compared immunological signatures in nasal swabs from children and adults and found that, on average, children had heightened nasal innate immune responses. This included signatures of the interferon response, which is a potent innate antiviral defense, and inflammatory responses more broadly associated with inflammation and recruitment of leukocytes to the airway. These findings suggested that Pre-activated innate immune responses in children were potentially protective against severe COVID-19. While results were consistent across studies, there was considerable variability among children in their responses that was not well understood. Pre-pandemic work has shown that children have very high rates of respiratory viruses and high rates of bacterial pathobionts that can colonize the airway asymptomatically but are associated with exacerbation of viral infections and their own upper airway infections. We hypothesize that the variability observed in past studies was related to this high rate of respiratory viruses and bacteria in pediatric patients. We performed symptom agnostic testing on pediatric patient cohorts from New Haven, Connecticut from times of low and high SARS-CoV-2 circulation and on children presenting to routine checkups. We screened nasal swab samples using a comprehensive respiratory virus panel, a screen for three major pathobionts, and innate immune signatures that may be associated with the detection of these microbes. Overall, we found that frequent, often undiagnosed viruses drove the interferon response in the airway, while pathobiont colonization was associated with more broad inflammatory responses. Finally, in children with both viruses and pathobionts, these immune signatures reflected a combined antiviral and inflammatory state. In this study, we observed surprising results from our viral and pathobiont screen. In two different collection periods, our screen discovered a significant number of diverse respiratory viruses not known from clinical testing, amounting to about a third in both cohorts. Pathobionts were also frequent and were present in a quarter to a third of samples. We combine these results with measurements of cytokines to evaluate the types of immune responses driven by viruses and pathobionts. I'll focus on CXL10, a cytokine we've previously shown to be associated with the nasal interferon response, and IL-1-beta, which is associated with inflammation and leukocyte recruitment. As CXL10 increases, we observe an increase in viral load, and as IL-1-beta increases, we observe an increase in the pathobiont load. In our analyses, H did not have a significant association with the innate immune signature. In summary, we have found that children have a high rate of viruses and pathobionts, which drive distinct patterns of heightened nasal innate immunity. Our work suggests that it is possible that these interactions contributed to lower COVID-19 severity in children compared to adults when neither had adaptive immunity. Future work is needed to address whether Frequent mucosal innate immune activation can provide a protective role in early childhood, and I encourage you to read more into our paper at the link shown.